Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you guys what I'm doing on my quilt that I'm working on. So this is Natalie's quilt. Um, in the outside border here, I'm doing this um, new background filler, similar to how I did on Sarah's snake quilt last week. You can see the design better on the bottom here, I think. The bottom of this quilt, it's all white, so it's looking really cool. I'm pretty excited about it. So then, what I mostly want to talk about is these blocks. I decided to do three different designs in these blocks, mostly to keep myself from getting bored. So in the outside round of blocks, there's nine blocks, so the outside has one design, there's four with another design, and the center one will have a different design again. So the outside design is these feathers. Um, I started in this corner and built my feathers up this way, zoomed along this edge here, built my feathers back up, then back down, and up, over, and just sort of worked my way around that square building those feathers, which I think look really elegant and really interesting. In the next section, I built this sort of circle around the design. So I took this, it's a six and a half inch ruler, plunked it in the middle, stitched around the outside. This echo is inside of this circle ruler. To do that, I used the BFF ruler from the Quilted Pineapple, which looks like this. And I just put this on the edge here to echo inside that. Then I echoed a quarter inch in here. And to do that, I used the 20 inch radius Quilted Pineapple circle ruler. And then I just filled that with some wishbone design, which I really like the way wishbone design works. Some once in a while I don't love how it looks, but I'm really liking it in this spot. And then I haven't done it yet, but the last, the center block here is going to have radiating lines coming out of the center. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a ruler and mark. So I'm going to mark a line going from the center point out to the corner. And then from the center point here out to this spot and then to this spot in here and i'm going to mark all of these so that it's going to make it a lot easier to stitch out later so i'm going to mark all those lines and then there'll be radiating lines coming out of that center star so that's my plan for the quilting i'm leaving for vacation on thursday so i don't think i'm going to finish it uh, my vacation was supposed to be in wells gray in bc but the park was closed due to forest fires so luckily i managed to find empty campsite in all of western Canada so we're now going to Fernie so that should be fun too but so I'll be away this week uh, but as soon as I get home I'll be finishing up your quilt Natalie all right bye guys